The Mitten, a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Now remember, Jan Brett is the lady who does a lot of drawings on the outsides of this story. So the story is here in the middle, but then there's secondary information on the sides. So don't forget to look at the sides. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. You'll, if you drop them in the snow, she warned, you'll never find them. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you're safe and sound and then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off went Nicky, and it wasn't long before until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. See it right there? It's right there in the snow. Okay. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm, just the right size, so he decided to stay. See him going into the mitten? Now what do you think is going to be next in the mitten? Pay attention to what's going on on the sides. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. Then it and it was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Okay, so you saw that the rabbit was coming. Now look what might be next. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. He spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. Okay, there's the little boy. He takes off. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the rabbit, the the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled, but when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Okay, so see the boy has one mitten under his belt, but the other mitten is being stuffed with animals. And look what's next. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Look at this. I wonder. Hmm. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the room, fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but the, what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held it together. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Now it looks like the boy has realized he just has one mitten. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the air and scattered the animals in all directions.
On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Look at all the poor animals. They're laying everywhere. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. But look how big one mitten is compared to the other one. I bet Grandma's wondering what happened. The Mitten by Jan Brett.